Hey everyone, I'm Bill. And I'm Bogna. And we're with Kalimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. Uh, and it is New Year's Eve, and we are here to celebrate with you guys and uh, recap a little bit about uh, 2019 and talk about what's going on with 2020. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, we, we had a very good year. Um, so just a little recap on the channel because um, I, I, I want to thank you guys so, so much for all of the support um, and just some statistic numbers uh, from our channel just to kind of give you an idea of how we've grown based on a kind of a YouTube side. Um, so since the beginning, we started the channel, uh, we, we kind of started the channel around November. That's about of 2018 that's when we kind of decided that we were going to do a youtube channel it but. wasn't until 2019 that we started to really do the youtube channel so in 2019 we started doing videos every other day uh obviously we got the super beast we got the tiny beast we got the brz uh we've got the, the collection is changed fiasco so we'll talk ST. about that so um oh the fiasco st oh my god so um so statistic numbers real quick 210 videos that's what we've got listed as of today on the channel we have hit 5900 uh subscribers i was i was hoping for six i was hoping for six thousand before the beginning of the year but i'll take the 59 so thank you guys for hitting that subscribe button down below um 10 000 likes across the channel so thank you guys for hitting that thumbs up the thumbs up is super important to us so thank you guys for hitting that um and big milestones we just hit it and i'm super super thankful you guys may have seen the post already we hit a million views on the channel one million eleven thousand and thirty four views as of right now um so thank you guys so much for viewing but one of the funnest statistics i think is crazy. minutes watch it's crazy minutes how, watch how much do you think it is how much? Guess it. Down comment, below? Comment, comment? below? Yeah. All right. See, see how far you're off. So we have 4 million minutes watched. To put that in a different perspective, we have 67,843 hours watched on our channel. That equates to 2,826 days on our channel. That equates to 7.74 .74 years. You guys have watched our channel for almost eight years. Not bad. In a year. Not too bad. <laughs> um, one of our uh, uh, highest views videos right now, not to be... Ex not to be unexpected it, it we figured this video would probably cause a stir on the youtube um the bmw s1000 why i got rid of it after two weeks uh, clearly is our number one uh, viewed channel or uh uh video uh, 122 000. but with the changes in for you diesel guys big props to the diesel guys um with the big changes in the uh, uh, the DPF and uh, uh, black coal matters, uh, black uh, uh, black smoke matters, um, the uh, the DPF delete video is at eighty one thousand and and climbing. That's becoming our number one video in the last couple months, so um, it's climbing. But uh, one that's made a pretty big stretch is the sound clip from the twenty twenty BMW S one thousand. It's been getting like thousand thousand uh views every 48 hours so 500 Actually, views really? so it's been coming up i think we're at twenty eight thousand um views so that's coming up so it's a rad clip you should watch it yeah so there's some just some basic milestones of of our channel um so thank you guys so much um for being here and uh we're full on on this so um real quick if you guys haven't seen um i put the shirt on and bogna said you can't wear that shirt because that's the old logo if you guys haven't noticed, we have retired the Cali Track Days slash Cali Moto TV um, logo, and yours truly has rebranded us to the new Cali Moto TV. So check out the new logo. Let us know below uh, in the comments what you guys think of the new logo. I love it. Um, I told her I wanted a TV in it, and uh, so. You got a TV in it. I got a TV in it. So um, hopefully you guys like the new logo. So check it out below. Um, all right. So so 
thank you. If you guys want to stick around, we're going to do a little bit, uh, a little bit more, give you guys some more about uh, what we plan on. So um, if you guys are done with us, thank you. <laughs> but you should really stick around. You guys can stick around because uh, we're going to go over some Q&As. Uh, we've, we've asked. When do I get to drink? We've asked. Jesus, babe. Um, by the way, Domain Carneros, La Rev Rosé. I mean, it's um, apple juice. All right, so um, we've compiled some questions to ask each other, essentially. Um, so what is, in, in 2000, I guess it's all 2019, what was your favorite review? What, did, what was the, your most favorite review that you did this year? Period, I guess, right? The Mustang Billet. I really? loved it. I really loved it. And the best part was that he almost bunny hopped the car into another car. <laughs> after I specifically asked him and told him, hey, watch the she clutch. Did. It's heavy. She did tell me. But so. it's a rad car. I was like blown away by like the detail in it and like how it was. I did not expect it. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give that. I'll give it. Because I, was, I think was it, like, it was... It was um, and the sound, woo -hoo. yeah, and the red match. It, it was it was a cool car. If you guys haven't seen it, um, take uh, take a check down below uh, for the Mustang billet. Um, what about you? What was your favorite? Review? My favorite review. Um, can I say two? Can I have two? Okay, fine. I got two, and the reason why I got two is because I ended up buying both of them. <laughs> um. <laughs> I absolutely fell in love. My favorite review absolutely was the um, the uh, Ti Tiger 1200, the XRT. Um, I absolutely fell in love with that thing. I came back and I said, I, I love this bike. And, um, and of course, we just bought it. So this is our kind of our two-up bike. So that one. Beast. And then the R9T, the R9T Racer, I... From remember when we first started going there, I always oh, wanted to always, ride. I always wanted to ride that bike. But it took me a while to get to it, right? Because yeah. it, it wasn't until until uh, June-ish that I did a review. And if you guys have seen the review on the R9T Racer, um, it came out about uh, only about two weeks after that. I bought the bike, so it was. Um, so those are my two. Those are my two favorite. I I, I got to throw in one more though because. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> and and let me tell you why I'm going to throw in this one because. Um, I got to give a shout out. Actually, there's there's three of them, and I got to give a shout out to both Jerry and Daryl Carpenter for both letting me ride their motorcycles out on the track. Those track reviews were very cool. I really enjoyed those All reviews right, okay. as well. So, I, I so um, big shout out to Jerry Morris for letting me ride not only one but two fifty to eighty thousand dollars. But then the MV Agusta, and then Daryl let me ride his his R1 that had like thirty thousand dollars into it. So yeah, that was that was it. Um, now flip side, the one that you were the most disappointment in a review that you were like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so rad. I already know. I already know. Right. Um, the Ducati uh, Hyper Motard. Really, I thought you said for sure Lincoln Aviator. Well, uh, <laughs> the, the, Lincoln, the, Lincoln Aviator, <laughs> the Lincoln Aviator was a disappointment only because um, I, the hype of that was m so much more than, um, but I really thought, I really thought that I was going to like that Hyper Motard and I really just absolutely hated that bike. Um, so, uh, so two, what do you All got? Right. MV Augusta. MV Augusta. I'm sorry, you guys, but I was I was really disappointed. Like this this was the bike that I've been like looking at, and I saw it like at dealerships. It was this gorgeous thing, and then you get on it and you turn on the display, and you're yeah. like, did they forget to install the actual display? And it didn't sound too great, and I don't know. It was just like I expected so much more yeah. off that bike. I think in general, I didn't even get to ride the bike, but when she came back, I was like, all right, glad she kind of took that one. But, uh, but you know what, we're going to, you know, there's, there's supposed to be some big stuff going on with MV Agustus, so I don't want to cut MV Agustus short, but, um, oh, right, it was, them. yeah, it was eh, as a first video. Um, what's your favorite all time video? 210 videos. What's your favorite? The self, the Ducati self video. Stealth? It's almost going to hit 20,000 views. Yay! So and 
the one video that I was super excited about was how it all began, which never made it to the channel because uh, my GoPro ate it. That was on track, and there's not a lot of so, on track footage. But. So let's let's talk about that real quick before I get to my favorite video. But um, we have probably about ten videos that didn't make it to YouTube because of some type of equipment failure. Uh, one, the camera didn't work, the mic didn't work. Um, we had a lot of problems with Bogna's uh, GoPro, so if you guys experience this, where the mic, the external mic on, would turn on with the internal mic, and so it'd pick up the wind noise and you couldn't hear her, so there's a lot of uh, problems with that, and then there was some that we did with this, and the, um, there was a couple uh, truck videos that I did uh, that you guys didn't get to see, and the mic had screwed up, and I didn't catch it before we shot three videos Technology before high, right? we, we caught it, so um, yeah, that was that kind of sucked. Um, my, my favorite video. And uh, I got to give a, a huge shout out to the guys over at Motorcycle.com. Um, thank you guys so much for, for letting me participate in some of your guys' content. Um, and in addition, allowing me to do some stuff. So Troy, huge shout out to Troy for uh, letting me do some stuff on the Degati. And, um, and we did some uh, the V4R and the V4S. Ducati, so Troy, thank you, and uh, and then of course the the my so my favorite video though, uh, the R9T racer uh, video with Motorcycle.com. I had the best. That That's was rad video. one of my f most memorable days of 2019. We'll talk about those in a second, but b best video. Um, so what's what's your uh, out of 2019? What was like? What are you most happy about? What what made you what made your 2019? Well, there's two things, right? I'm super happy with the YouTube thing. It's I am coming. super. It's coming along. And it's coming like like I'm super happy. But I got a new horse. His name is Remy. He is a little buffalo fluff ball right now, but yeah. I think I think he will be great. I don't think he's going to make it too much on the channel because I don't think you guys care too much about the one horse you know, power. Com comment down below if you guys are interested in, in more horse and ranch stuff because, you know, we, we started to kind of put a little bit on the channel, but, you know, and, and, we, and we've made this channel really about us, but it really is vehicle driven. But let me know because... Um, we have we have a whole ranch. How many hours? Have... How many hours a day are you at the ranch? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> hours, hours a day yeah, at the I, ranch. So I train horses. So... <laughs> if you guys want to see some ranch stuff and some horse stuff, we're going to a horse show uh, this coming weekend. So let me know. Comment down below. Um, what about you? For me. <sighs> You know, I, I, I've been thinking kind of all day about it. And, and I, I was thinking, you know, 2019 was kind of a rough year business-wise. As far as me on my business and a lot of people know, and, and some people know, um, I have my own business and I, and I owned, obviously, Cali Track Days. Um, eh, disappointed that we let go of Cali Track Days. But, um, man, it's been, you know, letting that go really kind of helped us because we, it kind of... The, the whole, just the whole vibe of Cali Track Days. Bye, Felicia. Out of here. Um, but, you know, at the, end, at the end of the day, I look back at 2019, and I had an incredible year. Incredible year. New truck, new cars, new bikes, new, uh, just the, the channel. Um, the business, as much as I, I'm stressing about the business right now and, and, and whatnot, um, I looked at the numbers and I did a, a my best year was actually this year oh, in my business. So, job, um, so just everything, just every everything. Life, life. 2019 was a good year. So I'm I'm looking forward to 2020 because I think there's some good stuff. So, um, so as we say goodbye. All right. So, I'm. I'm getting parched here so we'll say goodbye bye bye, 2019. to 2019 but hold on mm. uh, bam mm. jesus drink it oh wait how is i don't i don't know listen <sighs> all right stuff. let's talk about real quick let's get through some 2020 goals what we are looking to do um not only here on the channel but personally right yep so um 
the the XRT um, the the Tiger twelve hundred. Uh, we're looking to do some adventure stuff and uh, some exploring stuff, some more weekend trips and whatnot. Maybe a trip down to LA. Maybe a trip trip up the coast. Yosemite. Woo. Yosemite. So. Um, we're definitely going to bring you guys some uh, multi-day content from trips that we're going to take. So let us know. We're, we're in Central California. So let us know in the comments down below. Where do you guys want us to go on some trips? I'm thinking up the coast uh, north. I'm thinking down the coast south, uh, San Diego, uh, Yosemite. So uh, comment down below where you want us to go on the XRT. So the Tiger 1200. Um, so that's one of the things that we definitely want to get more into. Um, and of course, we had a lot of track day content this year because, well, <laughs> we had a track day organization. And with that gone, um, we still want to bring some track day content, but obviously we're going to be shifting and not doing coaching and stuff. But hopefully we'll be able to hit up some... Um, some track day organizations um, on a private basis and uh, still bring you guys some uh, some videos um, on the track. I, I really want to do some coaching. Like, I really want to go to some of, like, Jason Pridmore, Yamaha Champion School. Yeah. Like, some of those where they really, really bring you to, like, the next yeah. level stuff. And we, we talked really. about that the other day. So, you know, one of the things that we also want to bring to the channel is um, – so real quick about the reviews and, and, and the understanding on the reviews. So we do the reviews on, on, in, a, in a kind of a different style. First of all, I'm going to tell you straight up if there's something that I don't like about the bike. These people, they don't pay me um, to, uh, to review their stuff. And even if I was paid, I'm going to be honest with you guys on how I feel. Now, you guys might not feel that way. Um, she may ride a bike and love it, and I may love. Uh, I may ride a bike and hate it. I'm going to tell you I hate it. She's going to tell you she loves it. But what we want to do is we want to bring you guys some more um, schooling reviews, right? So we want to do. She, you said something about Pridmore, and, and we talked about that the other day. I would love to do some videos um, and review style videos with Jason Pridmore. Um, I know Jason Pridmore. We've uh, we've. Um, you know, kind of been around uh, the track, obviously, or like the Josh Hayes and the Yamaha Racing School. We'd love to be able to get down there and, and do some videos um, and bring you guys that experience. Um, there's also, uh, you know, the California Superbike School. It's probably a little bit above, above kind of, we're kind of above that. But I, I think it would be a good experience for you guys to see what California Superbike, because for someone who's just as a general, um, I think it's a good first track day, honestly. So we want to be able to do some of that. Um, but we definitely want to continue to be on the track on either a bike, little 99 too. a little bike, or we want to get some content in cars, which we've not yet done. So in 2020, because someone doesn't have a car. So um, let's. So the bikes. I don't know. We'll probably buy another half dozen bikes. Um, what, what's your next bike? I don't know. I'm just so so hung she's, up. She's hung up on that MT09. Um, Actually, I don't even know what I would buy right now. So um, we're working the collection, the bike collection. It's pretty on point. It's pretty on point, but we'll get we'll get some more this year. Um, but I think the next thing up is cars. Mm -hmm. So we were car shopping the other day for someone. Um, I think that we well, the BRZ. It's. You know, it's got a temper, and I don't like that. And it's just a little, I think it, to bring it to where I want it to be, it's too much like, it's like race car problems, and like it won't start because it's cold outside, and it's my daily. So I kind of want to get something that from the factory is a little more yeah, done up already. We, you know, we, we're basically just like a, four or five hundred horsepower car just straight off the lot um is basically i think what we're looking at so we went and looked at a couple of cars so we'll save we'll save that below comment down below what's bogna's next car um super beast is staying in the collection i absolutely love the super beast um, someone got to tow me all over the world huh someone's got to tow me around yeah um so the super beast is is uh 
got big plans for that, so stick around. Uh, the Dixon Farm Truck we've introduced, so I've been tearing that apart. Uh, did some work on that today. So uh, if you guys are into the old trucks, follow that. Um, but in addition to your want of a new car, I would like a new car. Yeah, he wants a death trap, so comment down below what you think that is. So what's my... I don't, I, I don't, it's, it's, not a super, it's not a supercar, right? Yeah, I know. It's an exotic car. It's, it's an exotic sports car. Exotic-ish. Babe, it's exotic. Yeah, okay, sure. Exotic-ish. Comment down below. What's my exotic sports it's car? It's a death trap. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking uh, mid, mid-year. So, all don't right. spoil it. Um, so, with that, we want to be able to get cars on the track. So, it is, it's a track car. Yeah, yeah, definitely so a truck car. It's a truck that car. Would kill you, most likely. <laughs> hey, how does your um, life insurance work? <laughs> so, so, um, so, uh, cars, tracks, um, schools. So we were in Washington and Seattle a couple weeks ago, and we uh, were at the auto show, and we came across uh, drift fit or. Drift is it Drift Fish. Fish? Drift Fish School up in Seattle, um, or just outside of Seattle. So we been in, we kind of were in no, contact so with them. Drift Fish is Rally. It's so rally. it's Rally. So, so it's, it's out in the dark. Yeah. So it's it's uh, basically full race STI cars. You go out there and do a full school with them, and they teach you basically dirt dirt driving. Rally. So or Rally rally, rally cars. So um, we want to get into that. Um, also, Bogdan has been dying in... I'm not... Uh, I don't care. Um, I'll do it, but she wants to do Bay Area Drifting. Um, they do some stuff up in uh, Thunder Hill and Sonoma Raceway. So we uh, will probably be kind of dabbling into that. And then, of course, trying to get into the car track days and, and kind of bringing that experience is, to is you guys. Is local? Who, who is a good track car track day provider that is like... Good yeah, give us for newbies. Yeah, give us a comment down below what you guys think. Um, wh what car track day should we be doing? Um, or like maybe driving school. Yeah. Who's out there? So, I think that's kind of our plans. What are your guys' plans? Let us know again. Comments down below. Um, what is something that you guys want from us? What yeah. is something you want to see more of? What is something maybe you want to see less of? Um, do you guys like the life stuff? Um, do you really just want to do more of just, you just, you're just here for the diesels. You're just here for the motorcycles. Um, you know, you want to see Bailey more or Leo. He's over there painting like crazy. Um, so let us know in the comments down below what you guys would like from us in 2020. And, uh, we want to try to bring you guys the most entertaining channel, but, um, super important to Bye. give us those thumbs up, comment down below. We try to reply to every single positive positive comment down below um so please keep them positive and uh subscribe man let your friends know about the channel and and uh let's build the channel together and uh let's see what 2020 brings us yep so 2019 goodbye 2020 my love here it comes and um Thank you, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.